Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel here at Just Audi. We're going to be continuing our astrology series today. We're going to be talking about the sign Virgo. If you haven't seen my other two videos, please check out my video on Sagittarius. Okay, as well as Taurus. But again, our focus is Virgo. So I'm going to be giving you guys my opinion on Virgo. My sun is in Leo, my moon is in Scorpio, my rising is Leo, just to give you a little perspective, okay? And let's just get right into it. Recently, I saw on Twitter a post going viral that said, did we all just collectively decide as a unit that Virgo is the most annoying sign? Listen, you guys, I was raised by Virgo. I love Virgos. I, I understand Virgos, and in fact, I have a lot of Virgo in my chart, okay? I believe my Mercury, my Mars, and my Venus is all Virgo. So I relate to that energy, but I also hate Virgo energy. I, I hate that I have so much Virgo on my chart. It honestly holds me back a lot. It creates procrastination because I have this, I'm a perfectionist. I have this, per, this perfect idea of how I want to execute something. But because, you know, I have all this Virgo energy in me, it like, it really holds me back because I really believe in quality over quantity and it just really hurts when I, I do not hit that mark. Let's just talk about why other people may perceive Virgo to be this annoying sign, right? Here's the thing. Virgo men and Virgo women are not the same. Let's just throw that out there. I have had experiences with Virgo men and they're just, they're just not the same. Virgo men closely relate Taurus men they want the comfort they want the security they are serious people for the most part if you're dealing with an immature um virgo i don't know but if we're talking about a mature virgo man and his energy his masculine or even his feminine energy whatever it is if he has reached the pinnacle of that energy uh, meaning he has done his healing work he has healed and from his past relationships and stuff like that and he wants a relationship then he's more than likely going to show up faithful just like Taurus will. I haven't really found Virgo men to be as cap captivating. They don't really grab my attention like Taurus men do for some reason and I think it's because Virgo men are also very quiet. Like they're they're kind of in their shell, they're kind of to themselves. They kind of just like are in their own world, their own bubble. And they're just, they don't really put themselves out there. Like these are the men that you're probably gonna have to do a lot of the work, at least in the beginning. And not to say that they're not romantic or they won't plan dates or anything like that. But if you see a man in a party and you're like, oh, he's really cute and he's attractive and blah, 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 blah. And you're giving him the, is he gonna walk over to you? I don't think so. And I could be wrong. You guys, please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong because I do, I have not had too many experiences with Virgo men but I have experienced Virgo men and these men were never the type of men who I really felt like okay I want to spend the rest of my life with but they did make me feel like okay I wish I did like him you know that feeling when you're just like I wish I liked him because he's great like he has everything that's there but there's just something missing you know me as a fire sign I am looking for that passion I am looking for that spark I am looking for that like rah-rah <laughs> Is that what people call it? They're not the type of men to involve you in drama. Um, they are loyal. They are faithful. Again, very similar to Taurus men. Like they will build a life with you. They will take you seriously. They will settle down with you. They're not afraid of commitment type, right? Um, and I have not seen, however, the dark side to Virgo men. So if you have seen the dark side to Virgo men, please let us know in the comments what that is like. I've only ever seen the mature good side of Virgo men. Now, when it comes to Virgo women, when I say I have been surrounded by earth energy my entire life, like it's crazy. But um, when it comes to Virgo women, I, and I feel bad for Virgo men because I feel like the negative things that are said about Virgos really only applies to the women. And it's because Virgo women are so flip floppy, like they, it, and not as bad as Gemini, right? Cause like Gemini can wake up and be a different person every single day. But Virgo just has these weird, out of nowhere temper tantrums. Like they just have these weird random moments where it's just like, what the is wrong with you? And then they're normal. They'll be like normal 85, 90% of the time. And then they'll just have these weird outbursts where you're just like, ah, 
And then after a while of witnessing that so many times, you, you get kind of put off by that energy. You're just like, uh, and it can come off like fake because one minute they're like snapping on you and saying all these bad things about you. And then the next minute they're like, oh, oh I love you. But then they rarely ever apologize. And then like the perfectionist energy does carry over into relationships and friendships. Like they start setting up um, expectations for you based on their expectations of who they want you to be. And it's never, it most of the time isn't reasonable. And you're just like, who's going to do all this? I'm not doing this. And then you just get to a point where you're like, I'm not even going to try to meet your expectations. I have also had plenty, plenty, plenty Virgo women friends. And a lot of Virgo women are not really like go out partiers, but they can be. When you find some of them who are like that, it's rare and few. Most Virgo women are like, okay, I'm going to stay in the house. I'm going to cozy up, whatever, whatever. Also, you guys, as I'm explaining all these things, please let me know if if these things still describe Virgo men because I'm just so curious. But they are more like in the house, cozy. Um, some of them are really good at communicating and making friends. But for the most part, Virgo energy isn't really sociable. They're more into themselves like um, introverts, right? By the way, I'm an ambivert, but... Um, so I feel like I have this balance of both, but I feel like Virgo energy kind of weighs on that side of, I don't really want friends. I'm going to be to myself. I'm going to stay in the house. If you study the tarot, Virgo energy is, um, gives me like, uh, hermit energy. And isn't, isn't it ruled by Virgo? I can't even think right now. I'm going to be so mad if I'm wrong. Let me just check. I better be right. Ah, I'm right. Yay. Woo. Cheers to me. So that's perfect. Literally Virgo gives me hermit energy where they just want to just be to themselves. But then they really don't want to be to themselves. They want to be to themselves, but they don't want to be to themselves. They don't want friends, but they do want friends. Um, they're, perfect, they're perfectionists and they hate it. Then they hold everybody else to that standard and nobody can meet their standards. So they don't like anybody else. They, they hate other people because no one can ever really reach their standard. Also, Virgos really struggle with accepting other people virgos really struggle with forcing their energy their ideals their morals their perspective on other people they struggle so bad with just being like you know what that's you this is me and we can coexist and we can still get along as two totally different people no virgos are like no this is how i am so you need to be like this and then like or it's gonna be problems. Now, I feel like I've been saying a lot of negative things. What I will say as far as like positive traits go is Virgos literally have the biggest hearts. Like even when they're being mean to you, it hurts them to be mean to you. And I feel like a lot of them don't even know, like when they're being mean in that moment, they can't help it. Like they are, cause Virgos go off on you like Sagittarius people, but I feel like Sagittarius people are just, they do it more so because they really feel like they can walk all over you and dominate you. Whereas Virgo does it because in that moment you really hurt them or you really piss them off or they really don't understand you and why you're doing something. So it's not necessarily always coming from a negative place. It's coming more so from a place of them struggling with acceptance and them lashing out on you for that, right? But, um... Oh, they have the biggest hearts. Like, and unlike Sagittarius, when Virgo snaps on you or has like one of those moments, they feel terrible about it. They feel absolutely ter terrible about it. They feel terrible about themselves. They, they don't really apologize. They more so just try to like, they're the people who will just like, hey, you wanna go get some food or... My light just randomly turned off. One second. I need that light unless someone would like to buy me a ring light, please. The sun's going down, so I'm going to wrap this video up soon anyways. Um, but yeah, they have the, they really do have the biggest hearts. And even though they have this side of them that's just like annoying and unbearable a lot of the times, they really don't mean to. They really do want to be better people. They really do notice their flaws. They notice every single flaw about themselves, right? Because they're, they're, they're perfectionists. So imagine being 
being able to have such high self-awareness like Virgos do, Virgos are very, very, very self-aware. So imagine having this high self-awareness and then being able to see the flaws, being able to see, I'm sorry, the flaws within yourself and just constantly criticizing. So that's another thing. They constantly criticize themselves. They constantly criticize other people. And a lot of them, if they're not careful and if they do not know how to, if they do not know or learn how to manage stress, they can get ridiculously depressed, sad, trigger warning, suicidal, all types of things like that. They also hold on to things often, grudges, all of that, because they have such good memories. They have amazing memories and not only will they remember what you did to them, but they will remember how it made, made them feel and they it's just so hard for them to let it go because a lot of them are such good hearted people that when people do wrong to them, they don't they just have a hard time being able to forgive that and let that go. And so that's where the holding the grudges thing comes from. Um, but if you can overlook the fact that sometimes, you know, they have to speak their mind and th they're what what is on their mind may hurt you, but their intentions are always pure. I can say that. I can say that a Virgo's intentions is nine times nine times out of ten very pure. It's it's definitely coming from a pure place, even if it comes out in a negative way. Um, so if you can overlook that, and if you're the type to be like, okay, look, I already know this Virgo queen or king has this issue that they don't really mean to have, but I accept them for how they are anyways, then everything will be fine because. Um, it's, I feel like I, I said two contradictory things because earlier I said that they do get over things quickly. And then I also said they hold grudges. So let me just cl clarify that right now. When I say they get over things easily, easily, I'm talking about they get over the things they do. <laughs> when they do something to you, um, or when you guys have an argument and they say something rude or nasty to you, they tend to get over those types of things quickly. Okay. Cause they'll start going into hermit mode and having all this introspection and realizing like, oh, dang, I could have said this a different way and I could have did that and I really should have done it this way. So, okay, let me just move on and get over this, right? But if it's something that you did to them and it was completely uncalled for and it was just like downright nasty, rude, whatever, oh, they can hold on to that forever. And don't think like, it, it, when I say they can hold grudges, that, that means ghost mode. Like they will not talk to you, you will not talk to them, whatever. Unless I feel like if you reach out to them and be like, I apologize, I was wrong. And you admit your faults and you admit your wrongdoing, they will forgive you. They absolutely will forgive you. So they are forgiving people. But if y'all had a clashing out and they go into hermit mode and they, and they come to the conclusion that I was not wrong, so I'm not apologizing, and then you come to that conclusion of I was not wrong, so I'm not apologizing as well, you guys will never talk again. You will go to the grave as enemies. And that's just what it is. So I can't wait to hear your comments, your concerns, your perspectives on everything I've said in my experiences with Virgos. But I do love Virgos, but I will have to admit that they are top three most annoying. See you next time.